All right, today is like June 18th, uh, 2022. A couple things I've been doing. I've been testing some different finishes on uh, some of this Douglas fur. And this one got a little dirty, but um, yeah. This Douglas fur is uh, a little difficult to work with. You really can't sand it because these layers in between the, the grain of the wood are, are, are different hardnesses. One is softer than the other. So if you try to sand it too much, you wind up getting a lot of ridges. Um, <clears throat> the easiest way probably the what should be the best way to go here's like just danish oil on there the only pro and that would probably be by far the easiest you just wipe it on and wipe it off and you're done but uh the problem with that is it's going to be impossible to clean if it gets dirty i i, I don't think it's gonna you know if you get dirt or oil or something on it, it it's gonna stain it i think but then trying to put uh sort of a, a spar varnish or spar polyurethane i guess it would be now on there it's not doing a real good job it leaves a lot of i don't know maybe i need to go with a, a satin finish or something as opposed to a glossy finish uh, i don't know i don't know what i want to do but I want some wood on the interior. This is what I'm shooting for here is on interior surfaces. I want some wood, you know, showing. I don't want everything painted. So that's what I'm trying to figure out is how to finish it. But what I've been doing is working on the engine mounts or the beds rather. And uh, you can see what I've done here. I've welded a tab on here. And then there's one on the, on the outside of the other end too. But um, and I'll run a lag, or not a lag bolt, but a, a regular uh, bolt through here. And then I'll run a couple lag bolts down through here, and I've recessed these uh, on both ends so that it fits, lays flat on the, on the surface of the wood there. Um, but I think we're looking pretty good. Needs a little bit of, a little bit of fine tuning here yet, but... But I think, pardon my camera bouncing around, but if we're lined up here, we're pretty much right down the center of the chute there. Shaft alley. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Obviously we can do some more adjustments, you know, here but um i don't quite have these these beds uh at the same angle as what the the shaft is going to be running at uh, with uh, this aqua drive unit i don't need to have it ex exactly in fact a lot of people will say you should have them at a little bit of an angle so the bearings in here don't run on the same surface all the time i'm not sure about that because it seems to me like if, it, if you've got a fixed angle the bearings are going to run the same surface all the time anyway so regardless of where it is but um but anyway <clears throat> i think we're at oh gosh i don't remember what the angle was 6.4 degrees on that shaft and then this is <clears throat> i think 1.3 degrees less of an angle or something like that the engine can run it <clears throat> excuse me at a, at a fairly steep angle i think 12 degrees or something like that they said it can run at so we're, we're fine there <clears throat> it's only like five six degrees something like that but anyway here's the other end um <laughs> Yeah, these are some of my, my first TIG welds. I bought a TIG welder. I've got a stick welder, but I bought a... And I've got a MIG too, but I, it's an old MIG. I don't really care for it. So anyway, I, <clears throat> I TIG welded these, and it's some of my first welds, and I'm really kind of liking it. But anyway, yeah, so you can see how these are going to go in here. Um, 
yeah, I made a mistake here of drilling these holes, thinking I was going to put bolts through there, but I can't if I've got lag bolts coming down here. So over here, I've drilled a new hole, so I'll just have one uh, bolt going through there. And same thing over here, I'll have to drill a hole here. So I just got one bolt going through there. But since the actual load it does not go to the engine, is not transmitted through the engine itself into these mounts, all this whole system has to do is simply hold the engine in place. Uh, I suppose rotational is going to have some twisting torque, but uh, I think we're more than, than adequate here. I'll have to put a pan, a drip pan, underneath the engine. So any oil or water fluid that comes out of the engine, drips out of the engine, or spills, gets caught in that. So I'll probably wind up making a fiberglass tray that goes under here to hold that and uh so that way you don't get uh, oil and stuff getting all the way down to the to the bottom of the bilge and it won't be pumped overboard if you're pumping anything overboard you want it to be just water so we'll have to put a drip pan under the engine but um in terms of just making sure things are strong enough i think i'll probably put another you know bracket in here to help support the the engine these mounting rails not that it needs it i don't think it would need it but i'll probably put it in there anyway because i think what's going to happen when that uh, aqua drive unit goes in here it's going to sit in here so i think you're going to have to have that thrust bearing some more right in here so i think i'm thinking i'll probably mount it of course to this and in maybe you know across here and then to that but then maybe runs also some, some uh, supports from from these i don't know for sure but yet but we'll see and again it's it's only an 85 horse engine so it's not like it's going to be massive massive amounts of you know you know a 600 horsepower engine or something it shouldn't be that bad but uh yeah it, uh, it's kind of nice to get get it this far at least it ma makes things a little easier to kind of plan and, and visualize what's going to happen in here but i did get my my lumber the other day for for planking so and i didn't have a really good place to put this these two by sixes either because i wanted to keep the under the boat open so I could work on the, that engine bay there and uh, yeah, so I kind of stuck them out this way but that's fine um, that'll be next next deal is getting back at uh, planking Let's see if we can get that finished up but yeah while I had a few days there that I decided to to start on this and I don't know if I'm going to try to make the the mount for that aqua drive and get that established now or if i'll wait i don't know this is gonna be a big job it's got awful hot again it i don't know it's june and it's see there we are 100 degrees again it's actually not quite that bad yet but man it's too early for that i don't know what's going on but global warming i guess yeah, and I got some more parts in for, for my plumbing stuff too. I got some the fittings I needed for these tanks. So at some point I can start on that too. Yeah, but I don't like to get too many things going at once. Kind of lose my train of thought, I don't know. George had said that in his book too. As he gets older, he kind of likes to get, gear, get himself geared up for one job and, and get that job done. And I'm kind of that way too. I like to not have too many odds and ends going on at once. I like to just kind of get get on something and, and get it done. Not that that's always entirely practical, but anyway, that's my update for what is it, June 18th, I guess.